Hello, my fellow adventurers! This is Malucha, and welcome back to New World. We are here in Windsworth to maybe possibly finish off the quests here today. Uh, previous episode, we did an archaeological find, or we had to find some archaeologists and retrieve the notes in Kunam Tomb here, and then craft some tools for the city because they were short. We actually got uh, a follow-up quest. Well, we got an another quest that popped up. And that was Fire of the Forges here. And then, of course, the last one, Zoology here with Margaret. So, we're first gonna do the Fire of the Forges and see if we uh, maybe get another, uh, well, pop-up quest here. And then, uh, if not, we're gonna go to Zoology and see if we can end up this zone. Zang, how you? How, how you? <laughs> how you doing? A new face? I haven't seen you around Corinth before. I suppose it falls to me to tell you about our current troubles. Wouldn't want you to go around uninformed. That is really nice of you. About the tribute? There's trouble with the tribute? I, I hadn't heard that. Do I know more of you. I was I know talking more about the you. lost overrunning the farms. Something happened out there. It's not safe to leave unless you know how to defend yourself. I, I know how to fight. A solid start. But you should also learn how to make weapons. No blade lasts forever. I can repair Here's it. Here's some ore to get you started. Then, you should try to make an iron sword. Okay. Let's accept. Upon open the heaven satchel from inventory to gain iron ore. Uh, okay. Let's open it up. Iron ore and rawhide. Okay, let's uh, crash these first. Really don't like having an, a flutter in my inventory. And we need to go to the forge. Yeah, there we go. An iron longsword. Before that, we need iron ingots. And to get iron ingots, we need to smelt them. Smelt them. Yeah, <laughs> over here. Okay. And smelt them all up. There we go. And we also need to go craft uh, some leather. Because we got leather. Well, don't we need to craft leather for that? No. Seems we don't. We already have the coarse leather. So let's craft one longsword. And yeah, I'm kind of working on my weapon smithing right now. Uh, I was at 160 and wanted to bring it to 200. But a thousand Orichalcum <laughs> ingots wasn't enough. Holy crap, this is such a huge farm. All right, let's uh, talk to Zeng How you Now, let's see your handiwork. Impressive. Quite impressive. He is impressed. I you've done this before, or you've got a knack for it. I've, I've done a couple before. We could use someone like you in Corinth. Should you decide to stay? Eh, uh, I got I got a home already. There we go. Let's see if we get a follow-up. No, there is no follow-up. And as far as I can see, there's no new quest in this area as well. So pretty fast quest actually, just to show you what uh the weapon smithing is all about. And then we got Zoology 101, guys. Is it gonna be the last quest? We'll have to check out. Let's fast travel. And let's go to talk to Margaret. Seems she still has troubles with her back. <laughs> She's still leaning forward. Margaret, are you gonna give us the last quest for Windsward? Eternum is a new land full of strange beasts. New paths that need charting. There is so little we understand. Like the buffalo. They just don't make any sense. There must be an answer to the question of them. The buffalo? They are a species from a completely different part of the world from all others on Eternum. There must be a reason. If you head out to the west of Windsward, you will find a herd of them. Collect what you can and bring it back. A species from a completely different part of the world from all other than other others than Eternum. The wolves, rabbits don't live anywhere else but on a turnum. You have my gratitude. <laughs> it's unlikely that they fell here out of the sky. I'm sure they are just as confused as I am about the old ordeal. And we get another lucky Wrightwood. 
So we get another plot of plant for this one. Oh, that's really nice. I love that look of the plot, plot of plants. And where do we need to go? 119 meters this way. And apparently it's three uh three different read the baffling buffalo so it's uh uh notes that we need to find and zoology 101 okay so let's start off with this one and then uh move on left light i thought we were gonna need to kill some buffalo it's like ah oh, seriously but i need to kill again <laughs> and i really from the creatures in 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 new world the buffalo really are fun like they, they resemble like real world so much like they lay themselves on their sides and like scratch their backs to the ground like really really nice the song of the spheres so let's add and read it and there's apparently three uh notes to this one for the tales of windsward further investigation is required but for now i must return to town i'm out of pie eureka today i made the most dazzling discovery Near my campsite, I stumbled upon a large sphere, and not unlike those famous found at the Amrine Temple. I confess, at present, I know not its purpose. But the bison certainly seemed per 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 perturbed, <laughs> per perturbed by it. I have no idea what that word means. They will not go near the thing, so I sat on top of it to finish my lunch safe from their thieving mouth. It was there eating the last of mother's elderberry pie that I listened to the bison once more. As they huffed and puffed their annoyance at my presence seated atop the sphere, I realized where I had heard the rhythm of their panting, uh, panting before, at the Amrine Temple. There, if you stand amidst the other spheres on a particular still day, you can hear the sound of the old machinery groan and settle in the soil. There's an audible rhythm to the place, the same familiar drumbeat of the bison's every breath. They are repeating the song of the spheres, and I don't know what this means, but it is a link between the beasts and the ancient people of this land. I must return to the settlement immediately and document what I have learned. Further investigation is required, and what's worse, I'm out of pie. <laughs> uh, really, really funny. So the next closest by is the one in front of us so let's pick that one up seems it's in the middle of the road the baffling buffalo i've set out for the western reaches of windsward to make a study of what they look what the locals call the buffalo although by their description i suspect they are more likely a species of bison when i arrive i will be sure to correct this misconception regardless more curious than the name is their presence here on the island Mother says that buffalo are a poor subject for a historian. As usually, she does not appreciate the peculiarities of my craft. This creature's presence here is as queer as anomaly as I have ever discovered. If they are indeed bison, they certainly are not native to the old world and are neither a favorite dairy animal nor beast of burden. What's more, they are enormous ordinary and temperamentally unsuited to long journeys by sea and since it's a rather doubtful they swarm the storm wall to get here i can scarcely fathom what poor, poor souls manage to their transport okay so they are talking about that they did came well that that they're wondering if they actually came from the old world or not or the the outside world and then the last one we need to read is a close encounter all right, let's add this one to journal and read it. This morning I awoke to some strange snorting noises. In my befuddled, uh, befuddled state, I confess that I at first believed it to be mother's snoring. But, <laughs> but as I recovered my wits, I realized I was far from the settlement and that the grunts were clearly animal in nature. It became clear that one of the bison was sniffing at the door to my tent. I sat perfectly still, fearing it would disturb it, I would disturb the beast and squander this opportunity for up close observation. He poked and prodded at a few loose sundries, then mouthed the tent poles for a bit and before he wandered off. When I finally deemed it safe to venture out, I realized the beast had met, had made off with my bag of rations. I was able to follow at a safe distance and snatch back my stolen property when it went for a drink in the river. I can hear it groan, gro groaning, groaning in the distance, as if to lament the loss of my bunch of apples and mother's elderly pie. 
I might sound crazy, but I can't shake the feeling it's huffing has a familiar rhythm to it. So yeah, you kind of do want to read like the baffling buffalo, then a close encounter, and then the song of the spheres actually in that order. Because uh, here he's talking about a spy, but then in the, in the first journal we actually uh, read the song of spheres. He was uh, out of pi, I think it was. And then in the first one they actually like talk about how they wonder how it could get here we had the really nice story around well the arrival or how it is possible that buffalo or bison well buffalo are actually here let's go back to market and uh disclose our uh, the information we pros procured what have you uncovered about our furry friends the spheres seem to be involved mm, interesting i love to chat with elric I believe he has been researching those. There is so much to uncover about this strange and bounteous land. Its mysteries entrance me. Okay, complete. And are we going to get a follow-up? Oh, for a second there, it looked like we got a follow-up. Let's quickly check the map. And the map is empty, guys. Oh, this always feels so good. Once you actually complete a, a zone, right? So for the next episode, guys, we have Everfall, and Everfall is kind of loitered. Let's uh, quickly do a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven on the outside. Four, seven. Then how many? We got one on the inside, the Magnus Opus. But I'm going to sit my ass down here and end this episode like I always do. If you want to see more of my Let's Play here in New World or any other game I play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button, guys. It would always help out a lot before i leave this episode the best of wishes for uh the holidays to come christmas and new year and well yeah basically everything uh that might happen next year i kind of forgot that in the previous episode on christmas day itself but yeah the best of wishes to all of you guys like i said hope you enjoyed the episode and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye